We volunteered. Uh, they asked who wanted to do the uh, choreography, and both me and Ida really liked dancing, so we, you know, thought why not. Uh, well, Dr. Ford asked uh, if someone wanted to volunteer to do choreography, uh, and I just stepped up because no one else did it, and I love dancing in general. So I think it's so fun to see when people catch up, to see them, uh, you know, start dancing, start learning. Um, because it all looks really good when everyone else does. Yeah, probably making everyone listen to it, like to what you're saying, and because even if I say go left, they go right. Some people, so that that's probably the hardest part. I think to make everyone understand, everyone do the same thing at the same time, and to explain how to do something. Probably patience <laughs> with everyone. Some dances we do, everyone is doing the dance, and some dances just a few people do the dance. So, but mostly we are the one big group and we're doing like eight counts or two with music. I've been dancing my whole life uh, and it's something I really enjoy. Uh, so I've been trying to keep up with dancing and now I'm in cheerleading as well and we're dancing there. So. Choir is, our main attraction is a very big group so, and we'll like teach everyone at the same time, or large groups mostly. Oh, well, they will see a very good like show. Uh, I think everyone will enjoy it, like seeing how fun we'll have it, uh, and uh, see a very good show. Pretty fast, and it looks pretty um, hard, but it's not that hard when you, you know, break it down. If we're gonna learn a new dance, we usually take maybe um, a few hours after school and learn it, and then maybe the other day learn it, you know, practicing so we know what we're doing. I would say like a lot because it's both because me and Hannah since we're teaching everyone we have to learn ourselves and I think we put two days a week 